What up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Against, you guessed it, your Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> again. Wow. Oh, well, you know, it's just one of those games where it's just trying to, like, you know, back and back to what I was talking about yesterday about picking your own teams. You can beat anybody when you play a regular ranked matches. It's just using your head to beat them. Doesn't matter how powerful the team is. I mean, yeah, there's going to be those instances where, you know, because of the skill that the computer control player has, in terms of their ratings or whatever, things are not going to go your way. You're going to have overthrows, people not catching passes, you know, not being able to cause turnovers. But if you use your head a little bit, you know, you can get out of your, your prescribed game plan and adjust on the fly. So I'm going to show you. Some right here. So this would be a gameplay analysis of my adjustments and what I did to combat what I thought I what I think I'm seeing on the field. So I get the ball here first. And what I'm noting right off the bat is in he's in three, two, five, nickel. And come on, look at my formation, look at his formation. If I'm to run the ball up the middle, I was gonna pass right here. But like, like you know what? No, I'm gonna run the ball. I'm gonna call the audible and I'm gonna run up the middle. See, I was gonna pass, but then I switched to audible, I like to run the ball. You cannot come out here and pass play all downs and expect to just stop a big formation run. You know, that's, you know, see, there he goes, 3-2-5, three, cover three. And he played that defense the whole game. And, like, well, like I don't know where people get this mentality from. Like, that stops everything. That's what I mean, like, you have to play your opponent as opposed to playing a specific kind of scheme or whatever you want to call it. So I'm pretty sure he does this online all the time. He comes in this formation, he takes one of the blitzing guys, and he runs around like a maniac with him all, all over the field. It's like that guy right there he just selected. And he just runs like a maniac all over the field. Like, what kind of defense is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... That's <sighs> where people, man. And then they'll be the same guys that are complaining. Oh, man, it's so bad. But then I'm playing him regular football. I'm playing football fund fundamentals. So the reason why this, this happens right here, watch... Uh, um, Meredith over here on the right, the far right, and watch the way that DB plays him. It's just good defense. He just played it better than my my one of my wide receiver plays. See how he played him? I'm not even gonna complain. I'm like, you know what? Good defense. Your computer made a really good play on that play. That's not anything I'm gonna ever complain about. It's just a good play. I thought Meredith could beat him, but he just he he played that route better than Meredith played. So he gets an offense, and this is a pretty good uh, play right here. You're on a stretch out of four wide receiver spread. Really, really good because they spread your linebackers out and you have to contend with what he's going to do. So it's a really good run play and he stayed in a lot of spread formation all game. But, you know, we'll see how I adjusted. So right now he's moving the ball after his crazy offensive defense. But I had made a, a statement to myself when I was playing. I was like, when I get the ball back, I'm just going to run it off his gut all game. I'm just going to run the ball. I'm not even going to pass anymore. I'm going to force him to come out of that defense. And if he doesn't come out of that defense, then I'm just going to kill him running the ball. So that was my game plan. So I'm here. I'm trying to stop what he's trying to do here. We're in pretty, you know, pretty good plays. But, of course, you know, three wide receiver stacks. Pretty proper formation. So good play here calling the screen. Gets a couple of yards off field. Kudos. Good job. Good way to play. I'm just trying to combat. What, I'm, what I think I'm seeing. I don't know what this is yet, but I'm playing. Another good read underneath. Completes for a first down. Still moving the ball. Right now, you know, the tight is in his, in his, you know, in his area. Momentum is all in his. Watch so it over here. A little bit of corral him. No gain. There's no huddle. <laughs> Strong in close formation. All right. Let's see what he got. Underneath drag. No complaints from me. I'm just playing. There he goes. You know, like earlier in the year, I covered this formation, right? What did people do of this formation? They try to run that double outs, that deep outs of that formation. I think I covered the video, like, I think it was like in November or October of last year. You pl play cover two to blow up the middle to, to take that right away. And all you have to do is just worry about the linebacker coming to the middle. So he goes in here and he scores. And remember what I told you earlier. I committed it to myself on offense that I'm going to run the ball. Because if he continues to play that defense, I'm going to eat him on the run all day. And I'm going to show you, like, how you read defense when you run the ball. It seems to be something I've been noticing a lot lately. I've been running the ball a lot more lately because of the way people are basically aligning their defense. So here I go back on offense here and I'm show you what I did. To adjust to... He's never changing defense! <laughs> 
he just plays cover three, cover, I mean, cover three, I mean, in the match, cover three. Same thing, same thing, all over again. So, all right, that's it. And look at the left side. Look at all open, opening over there. Look at all that opening. You seal, and that's it. It's all open grass. It's all open grass. And in his mind, you know what he's going to say? Oh, you're just running stretch. Like, no, no, I'm running stretch against your weak box. That's what. That's what. That's why it's so open. And he's doing it again. Three, two, five. Light, light box. Look how open the box is. I'm running right back to where he just moved that guy from. Right back over there again. And this is off of running off of uh, three, one, one, uh, one, one, three. And Howard tells me to get off of me. Get off of me. Gets another first down. I'm gonna run another play. See, Howard is telling him, change your defense. Nope, he's still in his defense again. I'm going to run the ball one more time. And it's just opening everywhere. All my linemen have to do is get upfield and they get into the second level, and it's a wrap. All them linebackers are getting blocked. Doing it again. Right, that's it, I'm running again. Why am I going to stop running? If you don't come off this defense, because he's trying to play against the pass, because I was pass-heavy the first series. I guess he's still running the ball up the middle. Like, why even stall? I mean, just good uh, block shed. But why? Why change? I'm not changing. I'm gonna do a play action here. Go time to call play action for second down. And he did get him because he thought I was running the ball again. And my guy comes up middle. Bang! First down. Get off me! We're putting the ball right back on the ground again. There is no need to pass against this. We're just gonna keep running. <clears throat> if he doesn't come out of this defense. It's going to be a rough day for him, trying to stop the run. It's going to be a rough day. This doesn't happen in the NFL. You don't open your box up like this and expect to stop the run. That's not going to happen, my friend. It's not going to happen. So that was, that was the mentality I made. I was like, that's it. I'm just going to run up the middle. He doesn't want to commit. And the only, the only way he wants to stop the run is by doing run commit off of that defense. Like Three linemen, two linebackers, and five... DB is gonna stop the run, and then I hope this stuff continues. In, you know, in, you know, in Madden, I know they implemented it this year where they, they, were, they were like they were gonna have a, a real focus in Madden 18. You know, last year they said they were gonna have a heavy focus, and people were calling the wrong formations on run plays. You know, I got two wide receivers on the field, a fullback, a tight end, on a run play, two on one, uh, two on two, and you come out in three two five to stop the run. Right? You should always, that's what, that's what should happen. You should always get beat up. So I'm back on defense here. That's one ball. I don't think so. I mean, cover three bear. We shut the run down. There's no huddle. So I'm trying to pass up the middle of the game. You know, post and drags, remember? Post and drags. That's all this stuff is. When you see, when you see, when you see close formations. I mean, there's nothing they can really run. It's just really post and drags you're trying to cover. And that, that formation takes it away. So here it goes with this uh, deep outs. And I knew it was... Here I was like, let me just play. I figured it would cover it. But down underneath, down underneath tight ends are going to be open. But he didn't look at him. He's still looking deep. Look at tight ends open. But he's throwing the ball deep. So I saw that. And when he went for it on fourth down, I knew he was calling, going right back to that same play again. So I just went to the line. I, tell you, I, know, I already know where he's going. Just go to reset and just call the same play again. Because he's going right back to that same play again. And all you got to do now is just watch out for that tight end coming across. Number 81. He's going to come across the middle. So, yeah, go ahead. All the rush got to do is the rush. He's got to get there. There goes the middle coming out. Yep, there he goes. And we sack him. Throw on downs. And I was so pissed because I'm like, I can't believe, you know, he's just going to come in here and just do this. So, I guess I'm, I'm taking a shot to the end zone. Right off the bat. So, I know it's going to be open. There's going to be a rotation on that on the safeties. And right, it's going to be open in the back of the end zone as usual. There goes. He rotates over. There you go. To cover three. Bang. Opening right there. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. You don't need like you don't need the Seahawks, the freaking Pittsburgh Steelers. You can you can beat people just knowing and understanding the way football works. All you guys have to do is get open and just give them the ball. Now if the computer catches the ball, it's a different story. That's where like you know it matters with the ratings and all that. But if you know what you're doing, you can play with anybody. You can play with the weakest teams. That's why I decided like, you know what, I'm sticking with the Bears this year and I'm gonna Start making videos to show you, like, hey, it's possible. You can do it. You don't need the Atlanta Falcons. If, yeah, if I had the Atlanta Falcons, yeah, it, 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 it makes sense. I could do a lot more things because they got better players. But that doesn't mean you can't beat the Atlanta Falcons using the Bears or using, like, uh, 
the Browns or the Cincinnati Bengals or the Bills or the Jets. It doesn't mean you can't beat them. You just have to understand the way that team, the, the strength of that, or those teams, and then leverage the strength to your benefit. Right now, I'm realizing what he's doing on offense. I mean, on defense, and I'm just leveraging like my strength. I like, all right, I got a good run game. I'm just gonna pound the ball down his, you know, his weak uh, defensive formation. And up until he switches, he's gonna get a heavy dose. Of the run game all day. I'm going to pass less and it's going to be all run plays. I know he's going to be pissed. He's going to say, oh, why are you running stretch? Yeah. Stretch definitely kill your 3-2-5 uh, defense. And you pick another defense to stop it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to change because, because of him. And right here, he still keeps running his deep outs again. And it's not going to work, my friend. It's not going to work. not going to work. It might work with other people, but it's not going to work here. He ran it like three straight times and all of them. No gains. So I'm like, I got, I mean, seconds here. Ten seconds, maybe, to try to score. You know what I'm going to do? The same play he's been trying to run on me all day, I'm going to run it to him just once to show you how, like, he's open against the cover three play he's playing because he's still going to play that cover three. I know it's coming because he's been playing it all game. And the outs is going to be open because I went past all game, so this is going to be a shot. I'm going to give him the exact same play he's been trying to run on me all game. Here, it's a taste of your medicine. Outs is going to be wide open. Because of what he's calling. Watch. Because he just worried about the middle. There he goes. There you go. It's a dose on medicine, my friend. Call a timeout and kick a field goal. I'm going back on uh I go back on defense in the, in the third quarter. You know, just beat him with common sense. <laughs> like you don't need a supercharged team to beat people. It's frustrating, don't get me wrong. You know, it's frustrating. But that doesn't mean it can't be done. It, it can be. I'm, I'm doing this all year. It can't it can be done. If you look at my, uh, my what do you call it, my games for the entire year, you see I've, I haven't picked any other team besides the Bears. I just picked the Bears, and it's still I still make it work. You know, as long as you're executing, if your guys catch the ball, that's a different story. I think I made videos about that where it's like things just don't happen my way because... Uh, you know, my guy's not catching or Trubisky's throwing wild throws. But that's just, you know, just not having the players. If you have the right players and you call, you're executing the right way, you can execute with any team. But some people just come on here and they just know, hey, I got Julio Jones and I got Matt Ryan and I got the running back here. And I can just, like, force my way upfield. That's what he's trying to just force his way upfield. So that's what he's doing right now with this formation, this spread formation. And he's just trying to force his way upfield. He's going to keep calling, like, no huddles and... Keep running basically the same plays, and I gotta guess when he's running the ball and when he's doing that pass play. You know, that's really it. <laughs> that's his entire offense. And he's gonna get lucky. That's things are just gonna happen because, like I said, you have Julio Jones on your team, so you can you can do certain things, like force. You know, good play right here. Good play recognition. I was playing cloth last round, take away outs because I think I thought he was running that same play again. That's the difference between his team and my team. You just have those those key players, those, those players that can make, make things happen. Like his running back right here. And of course, I say you have Julio Jones. You got Gabriel that can gash me upfield if I'm not careful. If I'm not careful, it can beat you deep. You know. But that's just like I said. That's just forcing. That's what he's doing right now. He's just forcing because there's nothing open, so he's forcing. And I didn't pl I didn't play the button right. And guess what Julio Jones does to me? You know, does what Julio Jones does. I can't get mad. I just got to try to stop him from getting the end zone. But he's not beating me off of because he's executing. He's just, like I said, he's just forcing his way upfield. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just forcing his way upfield. So. And then this, this run play. Oh, I knew. I, I read it too late. I should know it was coming. It's that close for me. And then he got the animation again in the end zone. But like I said earlier, I'm, I'm still mad because like I said... I know why he got upfield because I'm pissed over what happened with Julio Jones, and I'm pissed of just what he's been doing in general. So when I get back on offense, it's two minutes and 24 seconds here. He's about to get a huge dose of Jordan Howard, a huge dose, double dose. I'm about to fill his cup with Jordan Howard if he doesn't get out of that defense. That is, he needs to get out of that defense. And if he continues to stay in this defense. Yeah, you guys already know it's going to be a frustrating day for this fella. And sometimes people make the game easy. You just got to like, all right, you want to make it easy? All right, here you go. Oh, you're still running plays. 
There's a reason why it's working is because of the defense you're in, and he does not want to get off this defense at all. Like I said, there's, your your playbook has a slot for 500, 500 plays, and he's only picking two. All right. Well, I'll just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. But it's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. See, I was going to pass again, but like I said, he doesn't, they don't give you, he's not giving me the opportunity to come, no, I'm not just going to just run up the middle, I got a first down, so whatever I get, I get. And whatever I get, I get. Because there's, no there's no need for me to force a pass play into what he's playing, like, I'm not going to do that. It's like, I'm, you know, that's what happened with that interception. Like, I'm forcing into something that he's already has set up, like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you the opportunity. And this is what happens here to my line. Off of two guys rushing me, and my line does that. But I already see the opening already, so I'm just going to call no huddle. And hopefully my line does a better job of holding this time. He's only, like, blitzing two guys, and my guys can't even hold. You know, just dumb things like that. But yeah, you should be able to make them pay. Like, you want to keep doing stupid stuff like this, then all right, stay up there. Then the guy's just going to be open up field. So they just one, one formation, one defense, and run it all game. Like, who does that, though? It's like, come on, man. And the middle is just, is, I'm just killing off the middle of run plays. Because these guys are misaligned. There's no way they stopped them. Look at those two linebackers all the way on top of the field. Like I said, I just, my lineman just gets up to the second level and just blocks their, their, um, their, their linebackers. And it's just easy pickings. Put the ball back on the ground, run the clock down, and just keep running the ball. There's no point. I'm not going to even pass. I can run into the end zone from here. There's no, there's no reason to pass. I kind of figured he was going to run commit, so I'm passing right here. I was anticipating a run commit on third and one, which he is run committing. Look at that run commit. You know, throws down again. Put the ball right back on the ground and run the clock down some more. You know? It's what I do when I get like tired of people just doing like stuff online. It's just run. You know, if I get in a position like this, it's just run the clock down. Because then I put the pressure on him that I have to pass. I don't have to worry about the run anymore. And I know he can't pass because he keep he keeps doing pass plays of that same pass play, that same uh, deep outs. That's it. But he's still calling the same defense. <laughs> So he goes and he quits. Like, uh, man, it's crazy, man. Crazy. All right, guys, man. Hope you guys enjoy that one. And uh, I'll be dropping videos from time to time. Oh, yeah, I also did a rundown of uh, Madden rated players, my last video, a couple of videos. So check that, check that out. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, fellas, I'll holler at you dudes later. All right, then. One.